NOAA put together the spring outlook. Here's what we're thinking below normal temperatures, at least a little bit as we go into the months of April, May and June. So that's us here in North Dakota. And I think uh, part of the reason here is because we have such a big snowpack. Now, the uh, La Nina did officially end a couple of days ago to about a week ago. So that means we're trying to change back into uh, the El Nino phase. And that's where we're going to be favored potentially maybe for some warmer temperatures once we go beyond this. But for now, at least for the months of April, May and June, there's a good possibility we'll stay on the cooler side. What about the moisture side? Well, equal chances. That means right where we should be for those same months. So maybe um, so a couple of snowstorms or two or, you know, light ones or then we bring in the thunderstorm uh, chances. So that'll be hit or miss. But again, we're right where we should be in the country to uh, Chicago into the Great Lakes region. Also favored to be above normal with uh, below normal precip around the New Mexico area. Uh, let's take a look too of where we stand actually for the month of March in terms of our temperature departures. So if you combine our highs and lows per day and average that out every single day so far this month has been below normal. This past Monday was 29 degrees below normal. That was chilly. Now we're going to be changing this. The 10 day temperature trend it's not liking it too much. So our average high right now is about 40 degrees. Yes, 40 degrees. Instead, we're looking at the lower 20s today. The teens for Friday and Saturday near 20 and 30 degrees for us on Sunday. Then we go into Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday and so forth. We're staying below average. We just can't get a 40 degree day on the map. But as far as today goes, maybe a little bit more sun along the highway 83 corridor than the 85 corridor. In addition to some snowflakes, we do have a couple of flakes falling right now in the Williston area. Roads are also not in good shape. I was looking at some DOT cans going to the interstate. There's a lot of snow and ice out there. Some cameras are just glistening out there, unfortunately. So new, uh, numerous accidents being reported too along the interstate. Uh, but that blowing snow for the rest of the day is not going to be helping for us. And guess what? The blowing snow is persistent even through our Friday uh, as a high pressure system builds into the area. And that's where we're going to see overnight lows. Only five degrees in Bismarck to one in Minot, three in Williston. We should be seeing the average low temperature right now about 19, 20 degrees. Instead, that's even below what we should be seeing for our daytime, uh, for our afternoon highs. So tomorrow, because of that high pressure system, it will be cold and it will be windy, 40 mile per hour gusts. So you bet that's where that blowing snow takes place. We then go into our Saturday, still chilly. But at least we have a little bit of relief once we go into our Sunday there with those temps right about 32 degrees. And again, those winds don't go anywhere for your Friday afternoon where the snowpack isn't as crusted over. That's where we're going to expect that blowing snow. So maybe you're taking a long weekend out in the Fargo area or heading towards. Do expect some problems along the roadways at that point in time. And that is for St. Patty's Day, Krista. 14 degrees there. Saturday, 15 degrees. Believe it or not, look at this. First day of spring, 28 degrees with a lot of snow on our ground. Wow, Heidi, I really thought we were going to start having some warm weather coming up. You really got me good. <laughs> I, I fooled you too. Yes, April you did. Fools is coming down the road. <laughs> I wish that was though. <laughs> oh, well, thank you anyway. We'll try